Hey, 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 welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Chantal. So today we are going to be doing a furniture flip on two bedside tables. These bedside tables were purchased from a charity shop. Basically all they needed was sprucing up. So with the power of paint and with a stencil, we totally transformed the piece. These pieces were actually sold to a couple who I did a transformation for on their whole bedroom, <laughs> if that makes sense. So make sure you stay tuned, stay connected, so you can see how they look in their styled space. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell for new video releases. All right, let's get on with it. Okay, so as I explained, these are really good solid pieces, they're in great condition, they have some marks that I'll need to fill in, but apart from that, there's nothing wrong with them, they're just really old and dated. So these are some of the little holes that they have, and the first thing that I do as part of the preparation process is to fill those holes in using wood filler. So I just apply the wood filler with my fingers and then go over it with a scraper just to get off the excess. Just to make sure everything's really filled in and when I'm painting I don't see little holes. Once everything's filled in and that wood filler is dry, which normally takes a couple of hours depending on the type of filler you get, I take my orbital sander and give the piece a good sand. I sand the unit and the drawers with a fine sander, maybe a 180, and then I give the piece a really, really good clean. Inside and out, turn it over, flip it around, get all the crevices and really, really give it a good clean because you know, you don't know where this piece has been and this is a piece that I'm gonna sell. I wanna make sure that it's in really good condition and looks and smells really good before I start working on it. So when I'm painting furniture, I really love using Fusion Mineral Paint. It's a beautiful matte paint that is really easy to apply. You don't need primer, you can just put it straight on and it normally takes two, sometimes three coats of paint, but it's just a beautiful finish. So this color that I'm using is Midnight Blue by Fusion Mineral and it's an on-trend deep navy blue which is on the cusp of black. It's gonna really pop with the gold elements that I'm gonna use on the piece as well. After giving the piece a second coat of paint, I go over it and sand it again with a really fine 280 grit sandpaper. And then before I give it the final coat, I mist it with my spray bottle. These couple of steps just ensure that there's no brush marks on the piece, leaving it really nice and smooth. So yeah, it's an extra step, but it's really worth it for the result that you get at the end. All right, so next up, we're gonna tackle the drawers. So to zhuzh the piece up a bit, I'm gonna use a stencil. So for this piece, I'm using this Tribal Stencil by Roll Design Studios. I've used it on a piece before, the video I will try to put a link up to, but I really love this stencil. It really just has the power to transform a piece really quite easily. So for the stencil paint, I'm using an antique gold stencil cream paint, which is also from the Royal Design Studios. And it's a really beautiful creamy paint. You just need a little bit, it goes a long way. To apply the paint, I'm using an Annie Sloan stencil brush. You don't need to use an Annie Sloan stencil brush, but I would say just use a quality brush so it doesn't shred and get bits all over your piece. So to continue the pattern, you have to look for these transition points and make sure they're aligned. Once you've done that, you can continue and stencil the rest of the piece. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to find them, 
but once you're you know once you're a bit confident with them it's pretty easy but initially yeah especially with these small patterns they can take a minute to find the transition points repeat the process for the rest of the drawers and then all we have left to do is the handles. For the handles I'm using this metal spray paint to enhance these black handles and just to jazz it up a little bit. These just require a couple of coats of paint and then they can be attached to the drawers. Alright so let's have a quick reminder of what the piece looked like before and afterwards, totally transformed. I love the blue colour and it pops so much against that bronzy gold. The stencil is just a standout and really gives it an edgy look, gives it a really nice cultured look and it's just a beautiful piece that will go in a range of rooms. I'm always amazed by how much a stencil can transform a piece. It's just amazing. Anyway, these bedside tables are going to be styled in a bedroom makeover so don't forget to keep watching and find out how they look in their um, styled room and that's about it for now thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon